Okay, good morning Dive Master Candidates. Welcome back to class. Um, I've been looking over your knowledge reviews for Chapter 2. And if you guys don't mind, I'd like to go over Question 10 real quick with you. Um, first of all, everyone here drives or has ridden in a car, right? Yep. Uh, with cars, at least with my car, there's a certain set of rules that you tell the passenger. You know, Greg, you got any rules with your car when you're driving? Oh, you bet. Well, give me an example. Uh, don't touch my radio. Don't touch my radio. That's a good one. Maybe don't eat in my car. Uh, wear your seat belt for safety. There's always rules. Um, it, it applies the same on a dive boat. There's rules for your safety and just so you can have a little better time, right? So let's get into it. Question number 10. List the 10 points or steps usually included in a dive briefing. This is where you guys are going to tell the, tell the customers where they can can't go on the boat, what they're going to see, how they're going to have a good time, and in the unlikely event of any emergencies, how we're going to take care of things, make sure they're all safe, right? <clears throat> so, um, open up your dive master manuals if you don't mind. The, the knowledge review is on page 75, and if you want to follow along with, with the actual steps, you can flip over to page 43 and follow along. You guys good? Okay, let's get into it. Number one, dive site name. Number two, site description. You're going to want to let them know where they're going, um, let them prepare themselves if you guys are going to be doing drift dives, if it's going to be deep. Let them get their equipment together uh, ahead of time. Get comfortable with where they're going to be, right? You're also going to want to let them know your role, um, where you're going to be. You're going to be helping them in and out of the water. Are you going to be down guiding the dive? Should they stick by you? Um, simple enough for your role. Number four, entry and exit techniques. Um, this is a big one. You're going to want to let them know how to get off the boat and how to get on the boat. This is more for safety than anything. Um, here in, on the Pro Diver 2, here in Pro Dive, um, we, can, we do some different entries depending on the different sites. A lot of the time for wreck dives, we'll do negative entries, and you might want to brief them on a negative entry. A lot of the times people have never seen it, never heard of it. So just give them the basics. Let all the air out of your BC, jump down, grab the line, pull yourself down, no need to kick. Uh, the same things we've been doing on the boat the last few weeks, right? Yep. So just let them know, uh, let them know how things are going to go. Once again, let them feel comfortable with how this dive is going to go. Let them prepare themselves mentally. So that's uh, entry and exit techniques. Dive procedures. Um, are there any pr special procedures? Like I said, once again, are you guys going to be diving deep? Is there going to be a current? Do you need to stay by a dive master? Maybe you're doing a drift dive and he's got a flag up top. So you're going to want to stay with your dive master the whole time. Just any special procedures, really. Um, also sticking with procedures are emergency procedures. When you guys are on the boat, let them know that they're in safe hands. We're trained in oxygen uh, care. We're trained in CPR, first aid. Let them know where the life jackets are. Let them know where the oxygen kit is, the fire extinguishers. Um, once again, just let them be comfortable that they're in good hands. Uh, if you want to lighten the mood a little, tell them something like, if you see us putting on life jackets, well, then follow right along, you know. So uh, cut, try to cover all the emergency procedures. You'll do that in the briefing. Um, also, get into signal review. Number seven here is signal review. Uh, you're going to be doing dives, and you're going to give these divers signals, and they're going to look at you like, what the heck are you talking about? So go over signals as much as you can. Make sure they're paying attention. Let them know. When you jump in, turn around, give us the big okay signal. Let us know you're in the water, you're okay. When I'm underwater and give you the okay, give it back. If you don't give it back, I don't know that you're okay. Um, any other special signals that you may have? If you guys are teaching a class, let them know the signals for the skills you're going to be working on, right? So go over all the signals, anything that you'll be using. Even if you won't be using it, it may pop up. Go over as much as you can. Number eight, um, a good part of dive briefing, the roster check and the buddy check. Buddy everyone up, make sure everyone's got a buddy. There's no, there's no diving alone, at least off this boat. And a roster check. Roster checks can be real easy, guys. Um, you can do something as simple. This, uh, this is for us to make sure everyone's on the boat. You can do something as simple as having the spots on the boat. You know, you're going to have someone sitting here, have someone sitting here, someone sitting here. And when you guys get on the boat, call out all the names, have their names written down, have the crew written down, make sure everyone's on the boat. You go, you do your first dive. When they come back up, go through all the names again. 
call off everyone's name, something easy like put a line through the circle, okay? You got lines through all your circles, you know everyone's back on the boat after the dive. Head on off to the next dive site. You get to the next dive site, they jump in, they have a great time, they come back up, go over the names again, make sure everyone's back on the boat. Go over the names, put another line through them, now you got X's through all the, all the names, you know they're all there, you can head on back, you don't have to worry about leaving anyone behind. This is big for you guys. Make sure that you never leave anyone behind. That doesn't make customers happy. So that's the buddy check and the rosters. Another good thing to throw in, environmental interaction suggestions. Let them know where they're going to be diving. Let them know what they can and can't do. Um, if you guys are diving a wreck, you might want to throw out there that unless you're wreck certified, you do not want to be doing any penetration, no swim throughs. Uh, if you're going to be doing deep dives, let them know where their limits are. Tell them if you guys don't want them going below 100 feet with your dive operation, then let them know. Try to stay above 100 feet. Um, more environmental interaction. Let them know about the different fish life they may see. Get them excited. Tell them, yeah, I saw some Goliath grouper on this wreck last week. Um, a, a really good thing to have. Some of these reef fish behavior, reef ID books. Let them look through them, uh, find or look through them for them. Find a few fish, find something every dive that you can point out and say, hey, while you're down there, look for a Christmas tree worm. Here, here's some good pictures. Let me tell you a little bit about them. Just a few things to get them excited about what they may see, right? There's also all kinds of slates you can carry with you underwater to point out you see a fish and look through your slate. Well, there it is, now I know what I'm seeing. So interaction um, suggestions. You know, just let them know, get them excited about the dive coming up. And lastly is the pre-dive safety check. Uh, I can't tell you how many times personally I've stood up and looked down and whoops, forgot my fins. So go through the safety check. Re uh, begin with reviewing friends, BC, weights, releases, air, final okay. Make sure everyone's okay to get in the water. Make sure everyone's air is on. We don't need any problems and the pre-dive safety check helps cut out a lot of problems before you even get in the water. So that pretty much covers all the, all the uh, 10 points. Dive site name, description, your role, entry and exit, dive procedures, emergency procedures, signal review, rosters, environmental interactions, pre-dive safety check. Um, another good thing for you guys personally to have, when you're talking about emergency procedures on the boat, go ahead and get yourself certified in patio two or in the boat diver. That way you actually know what you're talking about. You can say, we're all trained. I'm trained to provide O2 if there's any problems. So keep that education going, guys. Keep on learning. Um, and that pretty much covers it. So what we have learned today is the 10 points and steps usually included in a dive briefing. Once again, just like your car, there's rules. Every boat is different. Every boat has different rules. So you want to make sure and go over this with the customers every time, every morning every new customer, let them know what your specific rules are. And like I said, pick up some of these books. Um, start learning yourself. Be able to point out things you see underwater. When they point and their eyes get big and wide, you want to be able to tell them what they saw when you guys come up. So keep them excited. Let them learn new things. And keep that education going. Get yourself oxygen certified. Get that boat diver specialty. Make sure you know what you're telling them, right? Are there any questions? No questions? All right. Good job, guys. Thank you.